So now we're going to do a little bit of an experiment with a white light bulb. Now when you just look at a light bulb, it's really bright and it just looks white to you. And here on my cell phone camera, it's actually so bright that it's hard to see much. And even if I adjust the color balance here, um, it still pretty much just looks like a big white blob. Well, we've got some tools that can help us see the spectrum inside there. And one of them is this diffraction grating. And so it's just a little card that's got some lines etched on it. And if I hold that up in front of the camera lens, off to each side, I end up seeing a little bit of a rainbow spread out there. And there's actually a, another rainbow a little bit further away that's not quite so bad. But it's still hard to see that. So instead, I've got this little screen here. And I'm going to move the diffraction grating so you can kind of see what I've got here. And I've got just a little bit of the light coming through, so it's not quite so overwhelming. And I'm going to take my diffraction grating and put it up there again. And against the nice black background, it's a little bit easier to see what's going on here. Now I'm going to take some static pictures too, but one thing you'll notice is that my camera does not have the best color resolution here. So one of the other things that we're going to be looking at are some pictures not taken by my cell phone camera where I can do nice videos, but a slightly higher quality camera. So I'm going to turn the light on here for a minute so you can see what's going on. I have this special camera which is hooked up to a computer. And this camera, you can't really see it in there, but it has a diffraction grating in front of its lens already. And so it goes and it connects up to the computer and it shows the same sort of thing here. But it's got a little bit better color than my cell phone. Now again, I'm taking a picture of color with my cell phone so it's not showing you all the detail. The nice thing here is that it can then plot it out and give a much better image that I'm going to be able to save. So a lot of the images that you're going to see that are ones that are through diffraction gratings are actually going to come from this camera as static pictures.